Every human being has a capacity to achieve their own greatness. And so it's my responsibility. I've taken it on to make sure that that happens for the people that I can actually touch. My name is Juan Salgado, and I'm the president and CEO of Instituto del Progreso Latino. Every day I get the joy of working with a dynamic group of individuals that believe that education is the power and freedom to live and enjoy the best that this country has to offer. Latino immigrants face a language barrier that is formidable. To be competitive for advanced manufacturing or the better healthcare occupations, you have to be college ready. And so our job is to accelerate that process. We run an elementary school for people who don't read or write in their own native language. Instituto has a set of career coaches, financial coaches, uh, income supports coaches. When you go from an $8, $9, $10 an hour job to a job that's paying you $24 to $27 an hour, your ability to provide for your family changes dramatically. And when you're able to do that, the whole family is watching. And when the whole family sees an adult that was reading at the fourth grade level, now in college and performing in college, you've just turned them all on to education. You've just turned them all on to the promise of upward mobility. And you've just now created the mindset that we don't have to stay in poverty. In 2010, Instituto established the Instituto Health Sciences Career Academy, a charter high school dedicated to healthcare, where kids who are entering ninth grade get an opportunity to explore the wide range of healthcare careers. There was a mother who had a little boy, and she said to me, can you help? She said, I've already lost two sons. Uh, one of them was killed in the street, uh, and the other one's in jail. And I don't want to lose this one. And so it was actually one of the critical decisions to say, I've got to come to a place like Instituto. I don't want to see folks in hopeless despair. I don't want to see people in perpetual poverty. I don't want to see people, you know, whose dreams get stunted, you know, in any way. I want to spend my life seeing people achieve their dreams and being a part of helping them achieve those dreams. When I got the news from MacArthur, I was leaving a meeting. I was actually on the street uh, heading uh, towards St. Pius Church, a vibrant church in our community that has been inspirational to me in so many ways. And when I uh, understood what was being said to me and what, what was being said to me meant, um, I just fell to my knees and cried. I was stunned, I was shocked, I was grateful.